Hello everyone, this is Iamin and welcome to Epic Knowledge. In the previous tutorial, we let the customer add their product to their cart. So now in this tutorial, we let the customer see all the product that they added uh, to the cart. So here you can see that uh, these are cart table and here uh, you can see that different customer can their, add their product in this cart table. So what we will do is that uh, we'll have a cut option at the top of this menu bar over here and if the customer click on the cut option then it will take the customer to another place where the customer can see all the product that they added to their cart so for it let's go back to our code and have a cut option at the top so let's go back and we directly go to our resource then views and inside views here you can see home and inside home uh, we have user page.blade.php and here you can see that we include uh, home.header which is uh, this part over here you can see this is the header part so we'll go to our home folder then here you can see header.blade.php so inside this header.blade.php we'll add our uh, card option i mean we write the code to have the card option so for it here you can see contact uh, inside this li tag so let me just copy it ctrl c and i'll paste it after it and here i'll say cart so if i now save it then if i now just refresh here here you can see we have another option called cart so right now what we want is that if we click on the cart option then it will take us to another page where you can see all the product that added by the specific user so here uh, let's just add a href over here uh, in the cart so here we'll give two second bracket then then inside this second bracket we'll say here url to first bracket to single quotation and let's say inside this to first bracket we'll say uh, show underscore cart so let's save it Control s and right now we'll go to our web.php and create this url so let's go to our route then web.php and here let me just copy uh, this one this route control c then we we'll paste it over here control v and here we are going to say show underscore cart and we will use uh, home controller and here let's say our function name will be show cart show underscore cart so we will go to our home controller and create this show cart function so let's go to our app then http then controller and here you can see home controller so inside this home controller we'll just directly go down and here we are going to say public function show underscore card we'll give two first bracket and we'll give two second bracket and from here we'll just return a view for now we'll just say here return then view and let's say the view will be home dot uh, it will be let's say show cart like this and right now we need to create this show cart dot bed dot php in the home folder so here this is our home folder so let me just right click over here and then click new file and here we'll say show cart dot blade dot php so control s and then save so let's just remove it and let's just say simple html and inside this html body we'll just say here let's say cart page so save it uh, and let's just refresh here then let's click cart and here we can see it is showing us show cart so obviously we uh, we have a different view than this uh, first of all we'll have a view like this we'll have this header part and uh, header part means this part uh, home pages and this logout option and we'll also have this uh, footer part in the cart page so that is actually really simple we'll just directly go to our user page dot blade dot php which is this one and let me just copy everything from here control a control c and we're going to paste everything in the show card dot blade dot php so control v and here you can see that uh, we have the header part over here and this is the slider so here uh, we are going to remove this slider part from here and i think we need to keep this div and here you can see uh, home.py we are uh, going to remove everything from here and we will only keep the header part and the 
footer part and all those part so currently if we save it now and if you now refresh then if we click on the cart and here you can see uh, we have the header part over here and we also have the footer part over here so in between them we'll have a table uh, where we'll show the specific product added by the specific user to their cart so that is really simple so first of all let's go and create a simple table over here and in this table we'll show uh, the product title price quantity code and the product images it means four things so let's go and create a table so here you can see header and this div and after this we'll create another div over here and inside this div we'll mention a table and inside this table we will have tr tag and we will have another tr over here so first of all uh, inside this inside the first tr we will have the table header so here we are just going to say th so let me just copy it control c and i'll paste it let's say five times on two three and four times so here uh, we will say here product title uh, then we will say here product quantity product quantity then uh, it will be price then the last this one will be image and uh, let's keep this page uh, for action after this uh, here we'll use this tr for table data so for now we'll just keep some random data over here let's say it will be short okay let me just copy this td uh, so let's say product quantity will be let's say 2 then price will be let's say 180 so let's keep the image field empty and here in the td let's say here remove this is just a uh, random uh, data for now just demo data so if i now refresh here okay where is the table here is the table here you can see we can see the table over here like this so we need to do some designing right now so we'll have this table at the top over here so for it let's go back to our code and here you can see we mention a div over here so inside this div we are main, going to mention a class let's say class will be let's say center and right now we'll go a little at the top and here you can see the head section so inside this head section we are going to write some css so here uh, for writing css we need to write style over here and inside this style we'll say here dot center uh, then we'll give two second bracket then we'll say over here margin it will be auto then let's say width let's say it will be uh, 50 percent so currently if we save it then if we now refresh here okay it's now in the center i think what we have to do is that here you can see that after header uh, i keep this div let's just remove this div right now let's save it then let's refresh okay here you can see it's now in the center so let's do some design over here so let's go back and uh, here inside this center we are going to say uh, text align it will be center then let's also say padding uh, it will be let's say 30 px and let's save then let's refresh and here you can see it's now all the text is now in the center and but this doesn't look like a table because it doesn't have any border so for it uh, what we'll do is really simple so here we are just going to write over here table inside this style we'll give a comma then we'll say over here th comma td then we'll give to second bracket and here you can see this table th and td are this on this table then th and then this td so here we are just going to mention border it will be on px uh, let's say solid solid gray let's say so save it then refresh and there you go it now looks like a better table so now let's do one more thing and that is let's make the table header uh, size text size and the background color a little bit different so here you can see this is the table header so inside this table header we'll mention a class say here yeah, the class name will be ts underscore deg uh, then let me just copy this class name control c and i'll paste it inside every th control v and let's go and write the css for this th underscore deg so we'll go inside this style and here we'll give a dot then we'll give write th underscore deg then here we are going to say 
let's say font size it will be let's say 30 px and we will also say here padding uh, it will be let's say 5 px then if you now refresh here here you can see uh, it's right now bigger than before and if you want you can also change the background color for the table header so we can do that as well let's say here background it will be let's say sky blue save then let's refresh and there you go so right now what we will do uh, is that here you can see that currently a user uh, is logged in and the username is yamin so if i go to my card table here you can see this is my card table and here you can see the user yamin has two product over here you can see shirt and a toy so uh, what we will do is that we will show that shirt and toy from the card table over here so if the different user is login then it will show a different card data for different user so currently if you go to our home controller here you can see from here we are returning this uh, home dot show card view from here so here in this show card function first we will get the logged in user id first so we will first check uh, if the user is logged in and who and who i will get the logged in user id first because here you can see that uh, in the card table we are also uh, getting the user id over here uh, from the user table so using this user id we are going to find out uh, that which user added that specific product okay so here you can see for e i mean the user id is 12 uh, 22 so using this id we will uh, find out that which product that uh, this user is bought here you can see that for both shirt and toy the user id is 22 so I hope uh, you are clear and you will be more clear as the tutorial goes. So here uh, first we will get the user id and we will keep that user id in a variable. So we will so we'll say over here dollar id is equal to we will say auth double clone then we will say here user user then we will give to first bracket then this arrow sign id. So using this we will be able to get the logged in user id and we will store it the id in this dollar id variable. And one more thing is that if you are using auth user like this then you need to make sure that you added this line at the top uh, use illuminate backslash support backslash packet backslash auth at the top. So after this uh, what we will do is we will declare another variable let's say this, this variable name will be dollar card equal to we are going to mention the card table name which is card and we will give two double clone then we will say over here where to first bracket to single quotation and here you can see that this card is actually this table this card table and uh, when you are using the card table you need to make sure that you add the card model at the top like this use a backslash model backslash card so here inside this where condition we are going to write the user id which is this one here you can see user underscore id over here like this so here we are going to say user underscore id then we will give a comma over here then we will give another two single quotation and inside this single quotation we will give equal sign then we will write a comma then we will give another single quotation and inside it we will write over here dollar id then we will give this arrow sign we will say over here get and indeed to to first bracket okay we do not need to give a single quotation for this dollar id so we only need to give single quotation for this and this not for this id and this dollar id is actually this one okay and this user underscore id is uh, this one so so here let me just explain it uh, so here first of all we are getting the specific logged in user id and currently the user is logged in is yamin and if we go to our uh, user table here you can see that for yamin the id is 22 here you can see the id is 22 and if i go to uh, my card table here you can see that uh, the user that added this shirt and toy to the card his id is 22 it means the user is yamin so we are saying uh, getting the specific user id and we are searching that id in the card table and whatever data we are getting uh, from that specific user id we are storing it in the in this card variable so here you can see that uh, we have 22 user id for this two product 
so we we are actually uh, storing this two product to this card variable <laughs> and then we'll uh, send this card variable uh, i mean the card data to our home dot show card view so here we'll just we'll just keep a comma over here and we'll say our here compact to first bracket to single quotation and here we'll say card so currently we'll go to our uh, this show card view so show card dot bed dot php which is this one and here you can see that uh, this tr for uh, showing the table data so here let me just remove all the demo data from the td we remove this and this one as well so here inside this td uh, first of all we have the product title so uh, first of all what we are going to do is that we are going to mention a for each loop uh, we say over here for each we will give to first bracket and we will say over here dollar card as dollar card and this for each loop will end after this tr we will say over here at the rate of end for each so here you can see first one is product title then quantity price and the image so let me just go to my card table and here you can see for product title we write it over here like this product underscore title so here we are going to write over here dollar card then this arrow sign will say over here product underscore title and we also need to give two second bracket so let me just copy this control c and i'm going to paste it uh, these three places so after uh, title we have the quantity price and the image so for price we write it like this and quantity like this and image that on so here this one will be for price i mean the quantity then this one will be for price and let's just uh, do the image part later so let's just save it now then if you now refresh here syntax error unexpected token in for each expecting end of file okay here at the rate of in for each okay i forget to give at the rate before this for each so we'll give at the rate then let's save it then let's just refresh here and here you can see you can see shard and toy you can see product quantity which is on you can see the price over here and we'll uh, right now show the image and the uh, we'll have a remove option over here so let's go and first show the image product image so for showing the product image we need to use image tag obviously so we'll say over here image and the source will be uh, here uh, let me just go to my public folder and inside my public folder here you can see inside the product folder we are actually storing the images here you can see we are storing the images so here we will give a slash then we will say our here product then we will give slash then here we will give two second bracket and inside it we are going to say our here dollar card then this arrow sign and we will say our here image so right now if we save it then if we just refresh here you can see the image over here and we are going to write over here so inside this image tag let's mention a uh, class and let's say over here img underscore design dz so let's write some css for this image uh, so let's go at the top and here inside the style we'll say dot img underscore deg then we'll give two second bracket and here we are going to say height let's say 200 px and width it will be 200 px as well save let's refresh okay that's fine so right now in the action we will have a remove option it means user will have the ability to uh, remove the specific product so here okay here you can see currently we are logged in as a yami so here we are seeing two product now what if we logged in as a user uh, what will happen let me just log in as a user let's just click login and here we are going to login as a user let's click on to three four five six seven eight which is the password and if i now and if i now click on the card face here you can see it is showing us all the product added by the specific user so right now before we do the action part now what will happen if the user is not logged in and click on the cart option so let's just log in log out from here and if i now click on the cart option here you can see it is showing us a error that attempt to read id on now which is over here in the show card function so we need to fix this error uh, that when the user is not logged in and if the user 
click on the cart option then it will take the user to the login page because in order to add the product to the cart user needs to be logged in so if the user click on the uh, cart option then it will take the user to login page so here we will go to our home controller dot php and here you can see show underscore cart so here we are just going to write a if condition over here we will see our here if and we will see our here auth double clone id to first bracket and here we are going to give to second bracket we are checking if there is any logged in user id and if there is any logged in user id then it will come to this if condition and uh, inside this if condition we are going to cart this code and we are going to paste it inside this second bracket so here if there is any user logged in only then it will come to this if condition and if there is no user is logged in then it will go to this else condition and we will we'll just return a view from here we will just say our here return view and it will be login oh, sorry it will be return redirect redirect it will be login so let's save it then let's just refresh here and right now if currently we are not logged in if i click on the card option here you can see it is taking us on the login page so let's log in as a user uh, let's log in as yamin let's give the password and currently if i click on the card option here you can see it is taking us to this page without any error and uh, we should do one more thing and that is so here you can see the price over here 17 and 200 so what we should do is that we should show the user a total price of the total of, of all the product so here uh, at the down we'll show the total price so that is really simple we'll go to our sublime text then we'll go to our showcard.blade.php and here uh, here you can see that uh, we mentioned this for each loop. So before this for each loop, we are going to write some PHP code. So here we'll give this uh, question mark sign. Uh, then we'll say over here PHP. Then we'll in this uh, PHP and inside it we are going to declare a variable. Let's say it will be dollar total price equal to first of all we'll declare the total price will be zero. So here dollar total price is equal to zero and we will mention this before the for each loop and here you can see the for each loop indeed over here so before this in for each uh, what we will do is really simple again we will mention this uh, php tag opening then closing and inside this we are going to write over here dollar total price equal to dollar total price plus let me just give a space over here and here you can see cut price right so here we are going to say over here dollar cart then this arrow sign will say over here price so let me just explain it here uh, initially we are saying the total price is zero and here we are saying total price equal to total price plus cart price so we are so what we are uh, doing is that we are uh, adding zero plus this price uh, let's say the first one is let's say uh, over here you can see the first one is 70 dollar then it will uh, again go at the top since this is the for each loop and here for the second product the price is uh, 200 right so here it will uh, over here currently the total price is 17 plus the cut price is 200 so the total price will be 217 dollar so i hope you are clear so currently so currently after this for each loop uh, let me just if we just uh, print or if we just show the total price it will it will be like this total price if i now save it then if i now just refresh here okay here you can see the total price 217 at the top over here you can see 217 and we obviously uh, will show it properly so instead of writing total price over here we will write it a little differently so after this table uh, let me just mention another div over here and inside this div we are going to have uh, let's say h on and inside this h on we will say over here total price then this double clone and we will paste it over here like this so currently if you now save it then if you just refresh over here here you can see total price 217 over here like this and uh, uh, okay let's just make it a little bit bigger 
no, so here uh, inside this h on let's say here the here class and let's say the class name will be total underscore dg so let's go at the top and here inside the style tag we are going to say here total underscore deg to second bracket and we'll say over here font size let's say 20 px and let's say padding padding it will be let's say 40 px so let's say then let's just refresh and there you go and i think uh, this part is looking bad for some reason so let's just remove this footer part so here you can see uh, input form dot footer we'll just remove it then we'll just refresh okay now i think this looks better so in the action we'll have a uh, remove option uh, so that if the user want to remove a specific product user can remove it from the cart so for it uh, we will just directly go to our uh, <coughs> here you can see this is the action header and here you can see we keep this td uh, empty so inside this td we are going to mention an anchor tag and inside this anchor tag uh, we are going to say over here delete i mean let's say remove 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 product let's say and we will mention a class bit uh, bootstrap class btn btn it will be uh, danger save it then let's refresh and there you go remove product option okay the remove product button doesn't look really good so what we'll do is uh, let me just go at the top and here you can see dot center with 50 percent so instead of with 50 percent let's say over here with will be 70 percent save it uh, then let's refresh and there you go it looks better right now so what we want is that if you click on this uh, remove product button then it will remove the specific product from the cart so let's go back to our code and here in this uh, remove product product uh, hf we are going to mention a url so we we'll see over here url to first bracket to single quotation and we we'll see over here let's say remove underscore cart let's just say and we will obviously in order to remove the specific product we need to send the specific id form here as well so here we'll give a comma then we'll say over here dollar card this arrow sign will say here id so we will also send the specific id to this url so let's save it so let's go and create this remove underscore cart route so let's go to web.php and let me just copy this on control c and we we'll paste it here control v so route it will be get route get not post and it will be uh, remove underscore cart remove underscore cart and we will also keep the uh, second bracket id over here and we will use the home controller and here you can see add underscore cart so we will uh, <laughs> we need to give the function name let's say it will be uh, remove underscore cart so right now let's go to our home controller and create this remove underscore cart function so let's go to our home controller and here we are going to say public function remove underscore cart to first bracket and we'll catch the id over here we'll say dollar id we'll give to second bracket and here we are going to say we are going to declare a variable let's say dollar cart equal to we are going to mention the cart table to double clone we'll say over here fine to first bracket dollar id after this we are going to say dollar cart this arrow sign will say delete and after deleting the data we want to stay on the same place so we'll say over here return redirect first bracket this arrow sign we we'll say over here back so here first of all we are getting the id specific uh, product id then we are finding that product in the cart table we are de deleting that specific product and after deleting we are staying on the same place and one more thing we want to do is that before we uh, click this remove product uh, we'll ask the user or customer a confirmation uh, message so here in the showcard.date.php here you can see this is the uh, remove button so here in this anchor tag we are going to mention say over here on click equal to we'll say over here return return confirm to first bracket and to single quotation inside the confirm uh, 
so here we are going to say our you sure to remove this product so here let's save it then let's just refresh here and here if i click on this remove product option here we can see it is asking me uh, are you sure to remove this product and if i click cancel it on delete the product but if i click ok it will remove the product here you can see it remove the product and the total price is right now 17 so let's try with uh, different user this time let's see everything works properly or not let's type user let's keep the password and let's click the card option and here you can see we have a lot of product in the card and total price is this on and uh, let's just do one more thing is that uh, we should show a dollar sign before the price so here oh, you can see a uh, card price so before this card let's show a dollar and here you can see this the total price before total price let's show a dollar as well let's say let's refresh here you can see dollar before it so let's just remove a product from here let's remove let's say uh, this one here you can see the total price is 1814 so if i just remove this product here you can see the price is 1614 so currently let's log out from here and let's currently we are not logged in and if i click on the card option it will take us to login page so yeah this is all about this tutorial so in the next tutorial we will have order now option it means over here we'll have a order now button over here and if the user click on the order now button then uh, it will show the user a different kind of payment option uh, it will be like by cash by paypal or by card and user can choose a payment option and once the user confirm their payment then those product will be added to another table whose name will be uh, let's say order table so first we'll uh, do the order using cash after that we will do the order using paypal or mastercard okay so up until now this is all about this tutorial and if you have any question or any problem you face uh, you can let me know in the comment section or you can also mail me or you can knock me on my facebook account uh, if you face any problem and i would actually really appreciate if you subscribe to my channel so stay tuned and stay healthy